Today we're going to talk about special parallelograms. So a parallelogram is a four-sided shape. There's actually a couple types of parallelograms. There's the classic parallelogram, there's the rectangle, there's the rhombus, And there is the square. Now, there are some characteristics that all four of these have, but there's also some that make rectangle unique or rhombus unique or square unique. So every parallelogram and all of these are considered to be a parallelogram. All of them have the sides opposite are the same. So left and right would be the same, top and bottom would be the same. With a rhombus and square, they're even more unique because all four sides are the same. So we had sides opposite the same. And that worked for parallelogram and rectangle. For rhombus and square, all four sides are the same. The parallelogram also has angles opposite are the same. Same thing with the rhombus, angles opposite are the same. Square and rectangle are a little more unique about their angles because they both have four right angles. So now our square and rectangle have all four right angles or 90 degree angles. Whereas the parallelogram and the rhombus just had angles opposite the same. I was going to have side to opposite work for both parallelogram and rectangle, but I'm just going to write it under both so that we don't confuse our lists. And so all four sides the same. Works for rhombus, and I'm going to put it over for square too. So I'm going to even. Mark out what goes where. Then we can also talk about the diagonals in each of these shapes. So with the diagonals, all four of them follow the fact that the diagonals bisect each other. So they cut each other in half. So one side of a diagonal is the same as its other side. So that works for all four of them. All four of them follow this property that the diagonals bisect. The rectangle has another you unique property of its diagonals. On the rectangle, the diagonals are also congruent. So the two diagonals are the same. A rhombus has a couple unique properties of its diagonals. On a rhombus, the angles are bisec bisected as well by the, by the diagonals. So each side of my angles are the same, and they always meet at a 90 degree angle. So the angles are bisected, and the ones in the middle meet at a 90 degree angle. So just like the rectangle can be called a parallelogram, or a rhombus can be called a parallelogram, a square 
It can be called a rectangle, it can be called a parallelogram, it can be called a rhombus. It fits under all those categories, so it has all of the properties. The diagonals would bisect each other, the diagonals would be congruent, the diagonals would um, bisect the angles, and the diagonals would meet at 90 degrees. So the square has all of the properties of these diagonals. So we can use these properties to solve different types of problems. Let's say we have a rhombus. And I've told you it's a rhombus. If they don't tell you, you can't just assume. They have to tell you it's a rhombus because then you can follow the properties of a rhombus. So because we know this is a rhombus, we want to find x. We know that up here, the two sides of the angle were cut in half, which means both sides are the same. So this would also be 23 degrees. So if that's also 23 degrees, now we have a triangle of just this piece. And all triangles, the angles, add up to 180 degrees. So the angle we don't know, plus the 23, plus the 130, that should all equal 180, because every triangle adds to 180 every time. So now we need to solve for x. We'd combine our like terms. 23 plus 30 is 153. And then we have to do the opposite in minus 153 from both sides, which would give us 27 degrees. Another rhombus example. Let's say we know 40 degrees and we want to find angle 3. Find the measure of angle 3. So we know that in a rhombus, we know they always meet at a 90 degree angle. So all of these here are 90. We also know that the angles were bisected, so we know this side would also be 40. And we also know the angles across from each other are the same, so 2 would be 40 as well. And it was bisected, so that would also be 40. So now we have this triangle. This adds to 180, so we want to find angle 3. We know 90, we know 40. It's a triangle, so it adds to 180. 90 plus 40 is 130, and then you can minus 130 from both sides. So one more rhombus example. Let's say they tell us the measure of angle 1 is 2y plus 10, and we want to find y. Well, again, when a rhombus meets at a 90 degree angle, or when a rhombus, the diagonals of a rhombus meet, they meet at a 90 degree angle. So we know measure of angle 1 is 90, which means we can set this equal to 90 and solve. We would get rid of our plus 10 first and minus 10 from both sides. And then that is 2 times y, so our opposite is to divide. So y would equal 2. 40. So that was a lot of rhombus problems, so let's talk about some rectangle problems. Let's say we have rectangle, and it has some diagonals in it, and it's A, B, C, D. And we know AC equals 5x minus 8 and BD equals 2x plus 1. So it was the entire length of each diagonal. Now one of our special properties of a rectangle was that the two diagonals are congruent. So we need to set each diagonal equal to each other. 5x minus 8 equals 2x plus 1. 
If we solve this equation, we can solve for x. So they may ask you to find x or they may ask you to find the length. If it asks you to solve for x, we do our opposites. We want a minus 2x from both sides to get our x's combined together. Add 8 to both sides and then divide by 3. So x equals 3. If it asks for x, we're done. If it asks for the length, we've got to plug it back in, and we can plug it into either equation. 5 times 3, instead of x here, I'm going to put in the 3, is 15, minus 8 is 7. So 7 would be the length of the diagonals. So we can take that and they can give us more complicated equations to work with. Let's say we have rectangle ABCD, and we know AC equals 4 times 2x plus 1, and BD equals 2 times x plus 8. Now it doesn't say these are the diagonals, but if it's ABCD, we draw our rectangle, we start at one corner, and we have to go in order. I can't, like, skip over. So kind of like you're traveling in a circle, A to B to C to D. And we can see, oh, A to C is a diagonal, B to D is a diagonal. So since we know they're diagonals, we can set them equal to each other. And now when we have these parentheses, we have to distribute first. So 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 1 is 4. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 8 is 16. We subtract 2x from both sides. Minus 4 from both sides. And divide by 6. So we get x equals 2. Again, we can stop here. Or if they want the length, we can go plug that back in. 2 times x plus 8, we replace x with 2. Parentheses, we have to add the stuff inside the parentheses first, so 2 times 10 is 20. So the last type of problem um, asks you to conclude stuff about the different properties. So we really have to know the difference. A rectangle is unique because it has four right angles and the diagonals are congruent. A rhombus is unique because it has diagonals that meet at a 90 degree angle and diagonals that are um, bisecting the angles. All of them have diagonals that bisect the diagonals themselves. So rhombus, it was specific to it, also di bi bisected the angles. And a rhombus, all four sides are the same. So you have to know those properties really well when you do these types of problems. So can you conclude that this parallelogram is a rectangle? So I'm going to give you a picture. So we think to our properties of rectangles. Um, so what made them unique? All four angles are 90 degrees. Well, the picture kind of looks like it, but they don't actually mark it in. They would have to mark this with a 90 degree angle or with 90 degrees. They'd have to actually mark that for us to know for sure that it was 90 degrees. So right now, the four angles being 90 degrees, I don't know. I can't know for sure. Maybe from the picture, but if they don't mark it in, we don't know. Second, the diagonals are congruent. Again, we don't even have the second diagonal drawn in. We don't have enough information here to show if the diagonals are congruent. So we cannot conclude this is a rectangle. Um, if we were looking at rhombus, rhombus, we have diagonals that meet at a 90 degree angle in the middle. Again, that's not marked, so we can't prove that. 
Um, we have angles that are bisected. Now they did do angle markings, but bisected means the two sides are the same. So those would all have to ha both have to be one mark, and these would both have to be two marks for this to be bisecting the angles. So rhombus, this can't be proved either. We don't have enough information to prove this a rhombus as well. So you really need to know those properties for those types of problems and what makes it unique. So some of them were all the same. Unique on the rectangle were all four angles 90 degree and diagonals are congruent. Now square also has all four angles are 90 degrees, but you can also call a square a rectangle. It fits under the category of a rectangle. So that's why these ones really just focus on rectangle and rhombus. In a rhombus, the things that make it unique are the angles bisected by the diagonals, and the diagonals meet at 90 degrees. So knowing those can help you with those proving if it's a rectangle or a rhombus. So that concludes our discussion of special parallelograms.